Searching through all of the neighborhoods in Port Orange to find the perfect one when you're looking to purchase a home can be frustrating. You have to consider things like amenities, location, school zones, homeowners associations, and the list goes on and on. I'm hoping to make that a little easier for you today. Hi, I'm Tiffany with homesofdaytonabeach.com, and today I'm going to be sharing three of the best neighborhoods here in Port Orange that might be the perfect fit for you. Let's get started. Number one, Villages of Royal Palm. This premium neighborhood has a lot to offer, especially if you're looking for a community that's virtually maintenance free. The Villages of Royal Palm is located just off of Williamson Boulevard on the northwest side of Port Orange. The community is gated, giving you a little bit more added security and some of the best amenities in the area. As a resident of Villages of Royal Palm, you will have access to their beautiful 12,000 square foot clubhouse. On the inside, you'll find a billiards and card room, arts and crafts room, they have a banquet hall with a dance floor, they've got a kitchen and bar area, and so much more. On the outside, you're going to find a beautiful swimming pool, you can work on your golf game at their putting green, or play a game of tennis, horseshoes, or bocce ball. While Villages of Royal Palm does have the highest homeowners association fee on this list, it is definitely well worth it. You can enjoy all of the amenities of the clubhouse that I just mentioned, but the HOA also covers things like your lawn maintenance, exterior paint, cable, and internet. If you are concerned about school zones, the kiddos will be zoned for Spruce Creek Elementary, Silver Sands Middle School, and Atlantic High School. If it's area amenities that you're after, you're going to love the location. You're five minutes from I-95 and I-4, you're close to the Port Orange Pavilion and other shopping and dining options. Number two, Water's Edge. This is one of the largest communities here in Port Orange and it offers so many different types of homes. While the majority of Water's Edge is not a gated community, there are some sections of Water's Edge that are gated if you are looking for a gated community. There are so many different types of homes here in Water's Edge, making it the perfect community for families who are just starting out, families who are looking to downsize, or families who are looking for a step up home. Homes can range from 1,400 square feet to over 3,000 square feet here in Water's Edge. Water's Edge is located just off of Airport Road on the southwestern side of Port Orange. You're also going to be zoned for some pretty amazing schools, including Cypress Creek Elementary, Creekside Middle School, and Spruce Creek High School. As an added bonus, Cypress Creek Middle School is within walking distance from Water's Edge. Water's Edge also has a very low annual HOA, making it that much more affordable to live there. Residents can enjoy the 24-acre lake, plenty of walking and biking trails, as well as the children's playground. Water's Edge is in a location here in Port Orange that puts you just a hop, skip, and a jump from some of the area's best amenities. If you like to be outdoors, Door Sleeper Spruce Creek Preserve is just down the road. You can hike, bike, bird watch, and just enjoy nature. If shopping and dining is more your thing, you're going to be just about 10 minutes from tons of different dining and shopping options, including the Pavilion at Port Orange and everything that's going on on Dunlawton Avenue. Number three, Town Park. This neighborhood is well known for its beautiful tree-lined streets and clock tower that's situated on the cul-de-sac as you enter the neighborhood from either Williamson Boulevard or Madeline Avenue. In my opinion, Town Park is one of the prettiest neighborhoods here in Port Orange. They also have plenty of paved sidewalks for walking, jogging, or riding your bike through the neighborhood. The majority of this neighborhood was constructed by the Johnson Group, which is a longtime local favorite builder who builds really good quality homes. The neighborhood is also great for all types of families with varying floor plans. You can also tell that the community itself takes pride of ownership in their properties with their well-maintained lawns and exterior of their homes. Town Park does have a very low annual HOA, and that does mean that the community is not going to have as many amenities as what Villages of Royal Palm would, but you are going to be so close to a lot of local area amenities that are definitely worth checking out. Play some golf at Cypress Head Golf Course, take a paddle down Spruce Creek at Cracker Creek, or take the short 15 minute drive down to the beach and work on your tan. You'll also have to check out the Dunlawton Sugar Mill Gardens that's just down the street. 
you're also going to be just about a five minute drive from a local favorite grocer, Perrine's Produce. They have the best deli and meat market. If you do happen to have school-aged children, they will be zoned for Horizon Elementary, Silver Sands Middle School, and Atlantic High School. So what do you guys think? Do any of these neighborhoods stand out to you or do you have something else in mind? Let me know in the comments below. For more information about these neighborhoods and other neighborhoods here in the Port Orange area, check out the link in the description below. Or you can always visit me on our website at homesofdaytonabeach.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.